What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame back with another Warframe video. I'll be here guiding you through to what you need to become a true idol and hunter. For those who do not want any spoilers, meaning if you have not completed your second dream and War Within quests, then get out now. You have been warned. In this video, I'll be talking about amps. If you want to know more about focus and other things, do go check out my focus guide. Before you get into idle hunts, you need yourself an amp since it's going to be one of the main damage being dealt to the Eidolons. Besides the main Synovia DPS, the other three members will be spending most of their time in their operator shooting with their amps. Again, huge spoilers for this. Once you've completed the War Within and Saya's Vigil, start getting yourself acquainted with Anko, who is part of the Quill's Syndicate in Cetus. Upon doing so, you will immediately obtain your first amp. It's going to be a starter amp, also known as the Moat Amp. This is definitely not the amp you'll be using for Eidolons. Amps are modular weapons used by your operator. It helps concentrate their void energy so that our operator can deal significant void damage. Now, void damage is the only way we can deal damage to the Eidolons' shields. And amps are the only weapons in the game that cannot be modded. An amp is consisted of three parts, the prism, the scaffold, and the brace. All three parts need to be crafted individually and combined to make the initial amp, which you then build, level, guild, and level again. I know it's a long process, but once you've gilded the amp, you don't have to necessarily level it for it to be used in the hunts, since it can't be modded so there won't be any capacity issues. Just like any modular weapon, you can only get the final and best stats after gilding them. Alright, first let's understand the amp parts that go into completing an amp. First, the prison. This is the head of the amp, the primary fire and also where you can earn mastery rank XP from. Second, you have the scaffold. It's the secondary fire mode, also the strongest fire mode, which will be used 90% of the time in Eidolon hunts. And lastly, the brace. This determines your damage output from crits and critical multipliers. I'm sure some of you have heard people talking about 223, the 777, or the X77, and all of that. They're all talking about the tier combinations. Since each M part is split into tiers, the higher you rank up in the Quills and Voxelaris, yes, another spoiler, the better and unique M parts are available to you. Little Doug from Fortuna is associated with the Quills, so just like Anko and Cetus, she sells relatively the same items, but Fortuna specific. Tier 1 to 4 amp parts are found in Cetus at Quill, Onko, and tier 5 to 7 parts can be found in Fortuna at Little Duck. Now you can go around building different variants of amps to test and experiment with, but you're going to need two specific combinations to make the optimal Eidolon hunting amp. And these are the 1, 2, 3, Rap Like Prism, Shrak Soon Scaffold, and Lore and Brace. I highly recommend to go for this combination if you are a beginner. And when you build up enough reputation in Vox Solaris, upgrade to the 177, which is the Raplek Prism, Propa Scaffold, and the Certus Brace. This is your best Eidolon hunting amp for the Void Strike user that grants high damage and precision strikes. And truth be told, the meta amp combinations are meta for a reason, as they will help you do the most damage. 223 and all those other combinations are not worth it if you're looking for efficiency and big damage. Before we get into those combinations, let me explain why the tier 1 prism is being used in both setups. Both tier 2 and 7 scaffolds are projectile and have travel time, but the tier 1 prism is hit scan and has amazing crits. So let's say you don't manage to crit with your alternate fire you can easily follow up with your primary to deplete the shields. Now, when shooting with the Propa Scaffold, it's all about timing. Pay attention to the left leg of the Eidolon as it lifts its leg to come to a full complete stand. You want to shoot just slightly before that, but that timing can change a bit when your ping is factored in. So, depending on your ping, you might have to shoot earlier or later. So the higher the ping, the earlier you have to shoot, and the lower the ping, the more delayed your shot has to be. There's an amazing website called edelon.com where you can practice your timing and shots for the Propa Scaffold. Now there are four ways to increase the damage output of your amps. Number one, Matarai Void Strike Charges. This is a multiplicative scaling void damage buff for your amps. Refer to my focus guide for more information. Two, Unira Wisps. 
This is when the main DPS of the hunt avoid bless the Eidolon to spawn these wisps, which will increase the operator damage by 100% for the next 12 seconds. Think of this as the serration mod for your amp. Also, make sure your squad mates do not have fetch or vacuum because you do not want to be sucking in all the wisps for yourself and not have the rest of the team gain the damage increase. Remember, Sharing is caring. Three, arcanes. There are three different arcanes to increase the DPS of your amp. Virtuous Strike, Virtuous Fury, and Virtuous Shadow. If you're fairly new in Eidolon Hunts, I suggest not to go for Shadow right away as it is quite advanced. So when starting out with your one, two, three amp, Fool around with Virtuous Fury and Virtuous Strike, and then slowly and gradually play around with Virtuous Shadow, since that is the meta one that is being used, where you have to Void Dash into the Eidolon's head to trigger the buff. Number 4. Volt Shields Volt Shields are the crucial and most consistent damage multiplier in the Eidolon hunts, granting you 50% electricity damage and 200% critical damage multiplier. The crit damage does not stack with additional shields, however, the electricity damage will, and the electric damage is primarily for your main DPS that is shooting down the limbs. When damaging the Eidolon shields, try your best to always pick up Unara Wisp and shoot through the Volt Shields. Starting off with the beginner amp, the 1-2-3, try to aim and shoot in between the knee and leg area. When the Shrak soon scaffold hits, it'll be able to hit multiple times which in turn will deal more damage to the Eidolon shields. And now shooting through the Volt Shields with Propa Scaffold will need you to position yourself accordingly, especially if you're in a full squad, Well, you'll have one person on the left, middle and right. So you don't detonate your Propa on your teammates and lose out on damage and even hurt yourself. Also, be wary of fall off damage. The Propa Scaffold is notorious for fall off damage. So if you're shooting too far from the Eidolon, you will do decreased damage. Make sure you're at the appropriate distance, close but not right on top of the Eidolon. Let's take a look at shooting with the Propa Scaffold at the Eidolon. Now, if your Propa does not do enough damage or crit, it's advised you follow up with a rap like shot. Since your Propa is a slow moving projectile, shooting a second slow moving projectile is a waste of time, so it's better to follow up with a primary fire, which is the rap like prism. The rap like doesn't consume as much amp energy as the Propa, and if you have decent amount of Void Strike charges and you combine that with the Nyra Wisp, you can do quite a lot of damage and even cap the shield with a rap like shot alone. But for a more advanced setup, you can do instant detonation. This is by placing your Warframe in front of the Volt Shield, where you shoot your initial Propa shot and slightly after that, you follow up with another Propa directed at your Warframe who is in front of the shield for the instant detonation. And after the shot, you're going to go back into Void Mode prepping for the next shot. Do this after each Synovia that was shot down. This will help you maintain and build up some Void Strike charges in between for the next shot. And this is what makes the 177 combination strong and efficient. So this is your guide to amps for the Eidolon hunts. I have other videos explaining what goes on into the hunts, so be sure to check those out on my Eidolon hunting guides. Alright, that has been it for me. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Warframe content, streams, and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and as always, peace.